well uh, in this video lecture we are going to discuss the uh, relationship between marginal cost and average cost mathematically uh, suppose it y steric represents the minimum efficient scale so this is the point at which the average cost is at its minimum point right so if you look into the slope of the average cost to the right hand side of the uh, the minimum efficient scale you can see that it is it is increasing but if you look into the slope of the average cost to the left of the minimum efficient scale you can see that it is it is declining or it is negative but at this point the slope is zero because if you draw a tangent over here something like something like this so it is a straight line parallel to the horizontal axis so that's why its slope is equal to zero so considering the left hand side of the minimum efficient scale this is the area in which the average cost is declining right so if you take any uh, output level you can see that the average cost is declining in this area right so that's why the slope of the short run average cost can be represented by the derivative of the short run average cost so look at it this is the derivative of the average cost and it is it is less than zero right so if you take this derivative you have to apply the quotient rule right because there are two functions that is the uh, numerator and the denominator and one function is divided by an other so that's why you have to apply the quotient rule so second function denominator derivative of the numerator minus numerator and derivative of the denominator the derivative of y with respect to y is 1 and divide by denominator square and put it equal to 0 so if we multiply y square on both side we will get y c prime of y minus c of y is less than or equal to 0 so now if we divide both sides by y right dividing this by y this by y and this by y y will be cancelled out from over here c y divided by y and 0 divided by y is equal to 0 right so this is c prime of y which also shows the marginal cost and this is the total cost divided by output which also shows the average cost is at least equal to 0 or you can say that if you shift this average cost to the right hand side you can see that marginal cost is at most equal to the average cost so that's why to the left of the minimum efficient scale marginal cost are less than the average cost so this is the mathematical proof similarly uh, if you take a point on the right hand side for example the point is something like this and you take the uh, derivative of the average cost so it will be positive or it will be greater than zero so again if you follow the same procedure and you simplify it you will find that to the right hand side marginal cost is greater than average cost right so what we conclude is when average cost is falling marginal cost will be less than the average cost but when the average cost is rising the marginal cost will be greater than the average cost and if we take consider there are two inequalities this inequality and this inequality we conclude this at the minimum efficient scale average cost is exactly equal to this the point at which marginal cost must exactly be equal to the average cost so this is how to establish a relationship between the average cost and the marginal cost mathematically